in the previous videos we have looked at the PIR sensor the passive infrared sensor and the ultrasonic sound sensor both these sensors are digital devices that is they generate a digital signal digital signals have two discrete states they can either be low or high they can be on or off there is no in between state and hence digital devices work very well with arduino which is basically a digital device itself however when we come to components which are analog components for example this light dependent resistor ldr also called a photoresistor so this ldr is a analog device it doesn't generate a zero or one high or low on or off discrete signal instead as the light falling on it changes the resistance of this component changes but it is a continuous signal it's not a discrete on or off signal so when it comes to using analog components on arduino we have to do something uh, in between because arduino can easily read digital components but when it comes to analog we can use analog devices with arduino because arduino has a analog to digital converter or an adc but we need to do a, a little bit extra work so let's understand how does a ldr sensor work and then we will see how we can connect ldr type of analog components to arduino so let's first look at the light dependent resistor or the photoresistor so i'm going to get a multimeter to see what's happening on the ldr you can use the multimeter on tinkercad to read the current a the voltage v or the resistance r so right now i'm going to convert this to resistance because we want to measure what is the resistance of this ldr so i'm going to connect my two terminals to the meter and there is no polarity in an ldr so you can connect any pin on the ldr to any pin on the multimeter let's run the simulation and right now the light falling on this resistor is zero as in this resistor is uh, in a dark place and hence the resistance of this is very high it is 180 kilo ohm and if we shine light on this sensor and if it's full light bright light shining on the sensor then the resistance falls from 180 kilo ohm that means 180000 ohms to just 506 ohms so that is the range of this resistor and the resistance really drastically falls as light shines on the ldr and somewhere in the middle we have around 1 kilo ohm around 1000 ohms of uh, resistance so if it's dark it's 180 kilo ohm if it's light it's only 500 ohms or half a kilo ohm and in somewhere in the middle it's 1 kilo ohm so these three values are important to remember now to use a ldr with an arduino we need to figure out how to change the voltage of a circuit in which we will connect this component because it's the change in voltage which is what we read on arduino for decision making for example in the pir sensor we say that if there is movement detected then make the pin high and based on that we have some decision making if pin high do something and if there is no motion then pin is low and we say if pin is low do something so it's a very discrete zero one state and it's easy to manipulate the voltage because either it is zero volt coming out from the pir sensor or the ultrasonic sensor or it's entire 5 volts so when it is clear that is it 0 volt or 5 volt it's an easy thing to use that device with arduino but in this kind of a uh, component which has continuous change we need to do something but before we use the ldr in uh, with an arduino we need to understand the concept of voltage divider 
to understand what is a voltage divider we need to attach two resistors in series so when we have some supply of voltage which here is uh, i have a battery pack which is 6 volts and i have taken two resistors both are 10 kilo ohm resistor 1 is 10 kilo ohm resistor 2 is 10 kilo ohm the total voltage here is 6 volts so what we want to see is what happens to the voltage when we have two uh, resistors attached in series so i'm going to connect both the resistors to to two multimeters so that we can see how the voltage drops across the two resistors so right now remember we've got 6 volts total voltage in this circuit we've got two resistors both of them are of equal resistance 10 kilo ohm and we want to read the voltage across the voltage drop across these two resistors so i'm going to run the simulation and you can see that the total voltage gets divided equally 3 volts across voltage drop across resistor 1 is 3 volts voltage drop across resistor 2 is also 3 volts and what happens if i change the resistance of one of the resistors so if i take this resistor and instead of 10 kilo ohm i make it 100 kilo ohm then suddenly majority of the voltage drop approximately 5 and a half 5 and a half volts is happening across resistor 1 and very very little voltage is dropping across resistor 2 it's around 546 millivolt and if i increase the resistance even more to let's say 1000 uh, kilo ohms and remember this one is still only 10 kilo ohms the voltage drop across the first resistor is almost all of 6 volts and the voltage drop across resistor 2 is only 60 millivolts and if i increase this like i make it like you know almost infinite uh, resistance so this one has a huge resistance then all of 6 volt voltage drop is happening across resistor 1 and there is 0 volt dropping across resistor 2 and the same thing ho holds true if if i change this so if i make the first one back to 10 kilo ohms so both of them are now 10 kilo ohms and the total voltage is getting divided equally between the two resistors uh, attached to each other in series because if you remember the ohms law voltage is equal to current times resistance v equals i times r and when two resistors are connected in series the total resistance in that circuit is r1 plus r2 so here r1 plus r2 is 20 kilo ohms both of them are 10 kilo ohm each and hence the voltage drop is equal now if i increase the resistance across the second resistor if i make it 100 kilo ohms suddenly uh, the 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 voltage is getting divided proportionately and since this resistance is 10 times this resistance r2 is 10 times r1 that is the difference in the voltage drop and same thing happens as i keep increasing the resistance the voltage drop changes accordingly so if we want to control the voltage in a circuit we use a voltage divider by putting at least two resistors in series and then when we vary the resistance of one resistor the voltage drop across the resistors changes and this idea of voltage divider is what we will use when it comes to using a ldr with an arduino we have a ldr and we have a arduino we need to create a voltage divider here but just to explain why we need to create a voltage divider because to use this ldr we need the voltage to change not the resistance the voltage to change and the voltage will not change if i if i just connect this resistor to a 5 volt supply there's going to be no voltage change because there is only one uh, resistor connected here so if i get the meter out so if i start my simulation the, the there is nothing i can do you know the voltage is just 5 volt and the voltage will not change even if i change the resistance of the ldr nothing is going to happen to the voltage and to use this ldr we need the voltage to change because these pins they eventually they just read the change in voltage so the digital pins we connect here and the voltage change is interpreted as zero or one on or off 
which means 0 volt or 5 volt. This resistor we will have to connect to the analog pins but that also still reads the analog changes in the voltage and there is no change in the voltage if I just connect an LDR directly to something. So even if I connect it to a pin and I start the simulation there is nothing I can do even if I change all this I need a change in voltage for this pin to read some difference and this is the reason why we need to use a voltage divider. In the next video we will create a voltage divider and use the LDR sensor to design a smart street light system.